prove this trigonometric identity. Now, we can see that the left-hand side is more complicated than the right-hand side. So it's a good idea to start with the left-hand side and try and simplify it down to sine squared. We have secant, tan, and cotan, but we want sine squared. So let's express everything in terms of sine and cosine and hope for the best. Secant is 1 over cosine, tan is sine over cosine, and cotan is cosine over sine. Now, let's clear all the denominators to make it simpler. To do so, we'll multiply the top and bottom by sine cosine. Doing so, we get sine squared over sine squared plus cosine squared. Of course, the denominator is just 1. So the left-hand side is sine squared, which is identical to the right-hand side. And that completes the proof.